Dear President Schwartz, dear Under Secretary Kroll, distinguished guests, I would like to thank you for the invitation to speak at the 7th European Labour Mobility Congress. This is the first uh, Labour Mobility Congress organized since the establishment of ELA in 2019, and his, it is a pleasure and an honour for me to be today. ELA was born in 2019 with a clear mission to contribute to fair and effective labor mobility across the Union and assist member states and the Commission in the coordination of social security systems within the Union. It is a very important and many times sensitive and politicized topic. That is why we set out to be a very operational, very practical agency, smoothing out labor mobility across the Union and bringing more coherence to the application of EU labor law. Labor mobility is therefore at the very center of our mandate since the very beginning. After many years of, after first years of growth, characterized by unforeseen challenges resulting from the COVID pandemic and the war in Ukraine, we are now in a phase of consolidation and we aim to reach full operational capacity by 2024 at the latest. ELA is thus continuing its comprehensive and action-oriented approach to address issues in the most relevant sectors for labor mobility. Before going into today's topic, allow me to briefly mention the scope of our mandate and give you an overview of our priorities and areas of intervention. Our work takes into account the developments in the EU labor market in close cooperation with member states, EU institutions and social partners. ELA's work and priorities are shaped around the key challenges in labor mobility across the Union. And these key challenges are related to posting of workers, freedom of movement, social security coordination, road transport specific issues, and tackling undeclared work. All our activities are structured around three core strategic areas, facilitating information and services, enabling cooperation and information exchange, and third, enhancing cross-border enforcement. Coming back to the topic of today's discussion, the posting of third country nationals represent a cross-cutting issue, affecting all our strategic areas. We are aware that is a growing phenomenon that affects labor mobility as it is becoming an alternative to the traditional avenues of migration to and between EU member states. Issues related to posting of third country nationals remain actual and are in constant development, also in the light of the current war of aggression in Ukraine. Posting of third country nationals poses specific legislative, economic and social challenges and both national authorities and the social partners have expressed their strong interest for a common action in this field. Although the field of migration falls outside its remit, ELA is competent to address issues concerning third country nationals, as long as they fall into the scope of the posting of workers directives. In fact, the overall EU legal framework on posting of workers applies equally to EU and third country national posted workers. The legislation does not distinguish on the grounds of the posted workers' nationality. Nevertheless, the issue is further complicated by the different national frameworks covering third country nationals at national level and providing different level of protection to workers depending on the member state. Although there is a well-established court of justice case law, we are aware that in practice we encounter different interpretation of this case law in the member states. Furthermore, the EU legislation on legal migration, including national rules on migration and possible bilateral immigration agreements with third countries, needs to be taken into account. Such fragmented and heterogeneous legal framework makes even harder to tackle the well-known abusive practices related to posting, social fraud, fake posting, letterbox companies, subcontracting chains. In addition, mainly, mainly due to language barriers and the dependency on the employer for the renewal of the work and residence permit, posted third country nationals present a higher degree of vulnerability 
compared to EU posted workers. Also, social factors such as isolation and low level of education contribute to their vulner vulnerability. As a consequence, posted third country nationals are more exposed to exploitation, abusive practices, fake posting, and breach of labor rights. In this context and within the scope of its mandate, I strongly believe that ELLA can play an important role. If posting of third country nationals implies the application of different legal orders and migratory frameworks, an efficient cooperation between member states could be a key tool to tackle many of uh, the raising issues. If the language barriers and the lack of information are particularly affecting posting of third country nationals, an efficient cooperation between member states and also ELLA's tool tools related to the provision and accessibility of information can be mobilized to improve workers' and employers' awareness on their rights and applicable law. If posting of third country nationals is carried out through abusive practices, ELLA's enforcement strand can help member states in detecting and fighting infringements. As you might know, since 2021, ELLA carried out its activities focusing on specific sectors, such as seasonal work, mainly agriculture, road transport last year, and this year construction. These are the sectors that encounter the highest number of posted third country nationals workers in the EU. Such circumstance certainly contributed to increase our awareness of the importance of the phenomenon and of the possible role of the authority to address these main issues. Aware of the importance of its role to ensure a fair labor mobility, the authority already planned specific activities dedicated to the posting of third country nationals. In October 22, the national event held in Slovakia promoted uh, an in-depth discussion with some member states on rules and procedures related to uh, posted third country nationals in the labor law and social security coordination area. Member states involved in the discussions were Slovakia, Latvia, Poland, Lithuania, Czechia, and Hungary. In addition, to inform work in this area, ELAF recently finalized a report on the challenges and opportunities of cooperation on the posting of third country nationals. The report seeks to facilitate the EU legislation on posting identify challenges in its implementation and in uh, cross-border cooperation, and propose possible solutions to address them. It also represents a basis for discussion for the Commission, the Member States, and social partners. It has been already distributed to the Member States and the social partners, and regarding the conclusions of the report, I would like to briefly mention some of the following suggestions provide guidelines to member states to ensure a correct application of EU law, including the requirements resulting from the court case law, further encourage the information exchange on the applicable legal regimes, especially in the case of third country nationals, on the right to entry and work, improve the exchange of information between member states, including information on the immigration authorities when they need to be involved fully explore the potential of the IMI tool in relation to the posting of third country nationals, promote exchange of good practices and specific trainings on this topic, R regularly assess the accessibility and usefulness of the information provided on the single national websites, and creation of a systematic data collection on posting of third country nationals at EU level. I think we are on a good track, and in line with these suggestions, we are already planning several activities related to third country nationals in our work program for the years to come. On the information side, in order to improve access to information for workers on their labor rights, we have already planned to carry out a mapping exercise of information needs of third country nationals posted in the EU and their employers. The topic of posted third country nationals is also one of the macro areas of work identified in the Posting 360 Mutual Learning and Understanding Program recently launched at ELLA. Posting 360 is a multi-annual mutual learning and understanding program 
run by our authority to strengthen and deepen cooperation uh, between ELA, the European Commission, member states and the social partners with a view on ensuring the effective enforcement of EU and national rules on the posting of workers. The Posting 360 program includes a forum on the posting of workers where ELA and the Commission will con convene experts and practitioners from the competent national administrations and the social partners. The first meeting of this forum was held on 13-14 March this year in Bratislava. It represented an opportunity to launch the discussion on the outstanding challenges which could be tackled and the activities to be organized under the program. The issue of posting third country nationals was discussed and some possible follow-up actions were identified. Among these are the identification of a set of non-binding guidelines on the interpretation of the van der Elst ruling in the spirit of Article 11 of the ELA regulation. Workshops of mutual learning and staff exchanges between national authorities dealing with posted third country nationals. Compilation of a list of national rules and procedures related to the posting of third country nationals and dissemination among the relevant authorities in the form of a booklet. More concretely, ELA, together with the Commission, will organize a specialized workshop on 24th May 23 for the national authorities and social partners dedicated to posted third country nationals to explore further the operational conclusions of the report and to decide on priorities and further initiatives that can be taken forward. To conclude, we are aware that the topic of third country nationals deserves an extensive approach at EU level as it involves a wide range of different problems and actors. From our side, we strive to make full use of our tools and improve working conditions and awareness of rights of third country nationals posted across the EU and to decide on priorities and further initiatives that can be taken forward. To conclude, we are aware that the topic of third country nationals deserves an extensive approach at EU level as it involves a wide range of different problems and actors. From our side, we strive to make full use of our tools and improve working conditions and awareness of rights of third country nationals posted across the EU. I hope the discussions during this Congress will be fruitful and we stand ready to implement our contribution and increase our area of intervention within the remit of our mandate. Thank you very much.